Good morning. I'm going to do a devotional this morning on the power to choose to love God by loving other. And the scripture we're going to look at is Matthew 25 verses 31 through 46. We're not going to read that whole chunk, but that's uh, the whole sort of segment of the scripture. So let me start on verse 31. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on the right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in? or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will, will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. And we're gonna stop there in verse 40. So when I looked at this topic, the power to choose to love God by loving other, the verse, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me, came to my mind as a very clear scripture that lets us know that when we um, feed, clothe, care for, I would add encourage, support, um, help meet needs uh, and bless our brothers and sisters in the world, that God feels that. God feels that as um, a sacrifice unto him. And that's what he's talking about here. So the person that came to my mind when I thought about uh, loving God by loving others is Mother Teresa. So I'm gonna read a little bit about her and share some things that she said. Um, and this is taken from a website called MotherTeresa.org from her biography. And the copyright is with the Mother Teresa Center of the Missionaries of Charity. By blood, I am an Albanian. By citizenship, an Indian. By faith, I am a Catholic nun. As to my calling, I belong to the world. As to my heart, I belong entirely to the heart of Jesus. Mother Teresa of Calcutta was entrusted with the mission of proclaiming God's thirsting love for humanity, especially for the poorest of the poor. God still loves the world, and he sends you and me to be his love and his compassion to the poor. She was a soul filled with the light of Christ on fire with love for him and burning with one desire to quench his thirst for love and for souls. Something uh, fascinating about her um, to me is that well into her life as a nun, um, she had what she called a call within a call. So I'm going to read just a little bit about that. September 10th, 1946, she was on a train ride from Calcutta to, Dar to Darjeeling uh, for her annual retreat. So it seems like something she did, you know, every year, did this regularly. And she received uh, her call within a call. On that day, in a way she would never explain, Jesus' thirst for love and for souls took hold of her heart. So... The transformation for her was realizing Jesus had a thirst. Now in the 
Matthew's scripture, we're talking about meeting the thirst of other human beings. She had a revelation about meeting Christ's thirst for people to come to him, to love him. And that really uh, reshaped the rest of her life in ministry um, and became her driving force. So I just thought that was really fascinating. Um, and for those that are doing uh, the ministry class, um, we've been talking about that, that um, calling and, and this idea of, you know, a call within a call. So I thought that was really cool. So on that note, let me pray for us. Lord Jesus, thank you that you show us what love is. We love because you first loved us. Thank you that you are so passionate about us, so committed to us, and that you thirst and long for us to love you and to come to you and know you and um, be in that communion of love with you. Lord, I just pray for my church family, for each one of us, and for us as a congregation. God, just lead us and guide us. In Christ's name, amen. Lord, I come, I confess. Oh,